Carved into the granite of the Black Hills of South Dakota is an American legend. Not the bust of a former president, but a Native American named Crazy Horse. In 1939, Lakota chiefs asked Korzak Sokolsky to make a sculpture of one of their heroes. Nine years later, the memorial was dedicated with the first blast on the mountain. When the sculpture is completed, the monolith will tower an incredible 563 feet. To put this in perspective, the heads on Mount Rushmore are approximately 60 feet high. The monument is still a work in progress with Korzak's son, Kazimir, taking over for his father, who passed away in 1982. Chief Henry Standing Bear knew that Korchak had worked at Rushmore as assistant to Mr. Borglum in 39, and he wrote to him that summer and said, will you carve us a mountain so the white men will know the red men have great heroes also. The Crazy Horse Memorial has a magnificent museum, including a gallery of the work of photographer Edward Curtis, whose opus, The North American Indian, documented a vanishing way of life. These type of skirts are still worn today. And they get a lot of this information from Curtis Prince because he was realistic about who they were and what they wore. From Memorial Day weekend through Native American Day in October, a nightly laser show projected onto the memorial is the perfect way to end a visit to this enchanting place. <laughs>